Welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Vasa Olga. I guess you can see that I have some outfit for some winter season or early spring and my makeup screams summer. Okay, I don't really want to fool you guys. It's still a little bit cold, but I really need something bright and colorful. That's why we're doing this very colorful bright look and the outfit is going to be more or less spring type. I hope you're going to love this makeup look and let's get started. I want to do something spring-like and I'm going to start with priming my lid. This is going to be with NYX primer. I can't believe it's March already. Wow. Okay, let's set my lid with baby blue color. I feel like I want to create something rainbow-like and welcome the spring season. I know it's March, the beginning of spring, but still. I'm gonna use this very beautiful, oh, let's go with this shade. It's super, super pretty. BB blue, not even BB blue, it's more like sea blue color. It might have a lot of fallout, so be careful. I'll stem this over my lid. I place the shade up until my crease starts, and with a little bit different color, I'll blend this out and kind of diffuse this to the sides. And then I'll go with my white shade. It can be absolutely any white color from any palette. I'm going to tap it off and blend out the edges of the color. In the inner corner, I'll focus orange shade. I have some orange color from James Charles Usher palette. And um, it's really pretty. It's sort of fire and orange. And I have another color from my Beauty Bay eyeshadow palette. And this is a little bit different orange. It's given a little bit different color. Okay, let's, for the sake of the video, let's try out this orange because I started with the Beauty Bay eyeshadow palette and then we'll see if I need to switch. I'll do that. I'm gonna grab a little bit on my brush and then when my brush is coated on this shade, I'm gonna tap it off, make sure that we don't really have a lot of color and then bring those in, you know, oh my god, no, it's not the shade, it's not the shade, it's too orange, and I need a vibrant, bright color, more like neon shade than this color, so this is going to be that color, I'm going to tap it off, and then pull it, yeah, it's more like a I want to add some shimmers, I mean, it's looking crazy. Uh, that's why we're gonna save the situation with the shimmers. And I'll place it in the inner corner like that, brighten up my eye. For my lower lid, I'll do BB Blue pencil. For my lower lid, I was thinking maybe I should do something pink, but right now I was more like orange type of vibe. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna add the same color as for my inner corner. Same bright orange, and then let's just bring this. Okay, and then let's 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 use this beautiful purple shade. And I want to wet my brush with a beauty blender, beauty blender, and grab the color. And then place it somewhere in the middle. And when I place the shade in the center of the lid, I'll go over with the same baby blue and make sure that it's blended in. I guess I should have added this probably into my liner, but okay, we're kind of in the middle of creating. And that is not it. I'll need. Catrice liner. This makeup look is very colorful. That is the main reason why I need to bring this down a little bit with black shade. I need my black eyeliner and I'll do a thick line. I'm using Essence Crazy Volume Mascara. I can't believe we're back with some very colorful makeup look. It's so cool. It's so pretty. It's been a while since I have done a beautiful, colorful makeup look. I'm obsessed. I love it. It's so girly. I love it. It's super girly. I'll do a little bit of orange first. Layer this in the center of my lip. It's NYX 
Um, I guess this one is super old product and I'm not really sure if it's still in stock. It's lip cream soft matte um, lipstick, but honestly super drying on the lips. That's why I use it as my blush. And from time to time, I use this to top some other shades. But today we're gonna do some lip gloss on top. That's why I hope it's not gonna be that drying. This is NYX. Linger, Lingerie, whatever, Linger, Linger, I guess. Lipstick, and I'll go over on top. Mm-hmm. And I have this really nice gloss on top. It has pink color. I'm gonna choose an outfit right now, so stay with me, guys. It's, it's basically spring, but it's still cold. It's kind of warmer than usual, but it's still cold. That's why I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put on some dress, and uh, on top of the dress, we're gonna layer sweater. My tights, cute velvet dress on top. And it's given preppy style. I love this dress, but it's just lacking something. That is the main reason why I put on this cute sweater on top. Honestly, I didn't try this with other sweaters, but I guess it's going to work out pretty much okay. So if you have this dress where you don't really like the top, it's because of the bra area or it's because of your shoulders, I would highly recommend to put on some sweater, cropped sweater, I guess. I love this very beautiful necklace. This one my mom has made for me and I put this underneath. Okay, let's do high boots because it looks good. My ring with ruby and I have two options. The first one is this cute little bag with gold detail. Um, it's really nice and cute. I kind of love it. Um, and I purchased this on Shane. And this is another option. It's just black. And I don't know. What do you think, guys? What is going to be a better option? This or this? I'd go with this one. By the way, I have really nice fragrance from Tom Ford Vanilla Tabaka. Yeah, this is going to work pretty much okay with this outfit. This is pretty much it, and this is the final result of my spring makeup look. And one more time, you can take off the slip and then just use and top some gloss. It's gonna look pretty much okay. Great, I'd say. And I'll see you next time.